Today, we're adding a hover effect to our navigation menus. This is a nice way to give your customers a more interactive experience, and when paired with images, can really help show off your store's visuals. And it works well with different menu styles, so check out our navigation menu videos if you want to learn different ways to set up your menus. This was actually another request by you, so keep those requests coming. And if you're getting value from these videos or you've already added a customization from our channel, then I just wanted to ask if you could subscribe. It's just a button click for you, but it makes a really big difference for us as we grow this channel. We're small right now, but with your help, we can grow this thing and keep giving you free tutorials like this. All right, let's hover some navigation menus. Okay, so there's three navigation menu styles, but we're only going to hover the drop down menu and the mega menu. We're not going to do the drawer menu. The drawer menu is more often used on mobile, and keep in mind that the hover effect only works on desktop because you can't really hover on a mobile touchscreen. I did spend some time trying to figure out how to add the hover effect on the drawer menu for desktop, but its implementation is more complex, so I decided to just keep this a little bit more simple and focus on the drop down menu and the mega menu. Now, if you really want the hover effect for the drawer menu, let me know and I'll take a look into this further. In order to make this customization, we are going to need to add a little bit of code to our theme, but don't worry if you're not comfortable with this, I'll give you all the steps that you'll need. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off in the themes area of our Shopify admin. And if you haven't yet already, just duplicate your theme, uh, just so you can back it up in case anything goes wrong, you can always revert back to your previous version. So first we're going to customize. So I'm going to click up to the top here, and it's going to show the header settings. We've got some extra settings here. This is the customization we did in a previous video to add images to our uh, navigation menu. So these images here. Um, but what you will have is you'll have the option to set the desktop menu type, drop down, mega menu, drawer. If we just go onto our live site and just refresh, we can see the mega menu right here. Um, and you can see here, if I just kind of hover my mouse on top, they don't open. But when I click, it's going to reveal the mega menu. So we can just take a look at the drop down version. Let's refresh. So again, if I just hover over top, nothing happens. Once I click, it'll show the menu. Uh, same thing here, click, and then these are nested. So I can click again, uh, click again. And then uh, for the drawer menu, uh, the drawer menu, we aren't going to have a hover effect on this, uh, but we'll just take a look at what it looks like anyway. So here I still have to click, um, and then I can click in to any one of these nested menus uh, to reveal what's underneath. OK, so those are our three menu types. And like I mentioned, we're just going to be doing the mega menu and the drop down menu with the hover effect. OK. so. Let's first edit code. We're going to look for the file header.liquid. So right here. In this file is the code that uh, defines what happens with the header section of our website. And so if we actually scroll to the very bottom, you're going to see there's a schema section. Uh, the schema section is the what defines the settings that we're going to see in our header. So it's these settings right here. And we're going to add a setting. So we're going to see here, there's the uh, select uh, mega uh, or menu type desktop, right? So we've got drop down, mega, and drawer. That's this option right here. So which menu type we're choosing. And we're just going to go right underneath that. So we can, uh, we can check this curly bracket here. We can see where it starts and ends. And we're going to just add a couple spaces between here and the next menu option. And we're just going to copy and paste our settings right here. So the menu hover setting. Uh, and we're just going to save that. And so now if I refresh the page, you'll see here there's a new checkbox to open menu with hover. Right now, this setting isn't going to change anything. Uh, it's If we check this or not, nothing's going to happen. We need to add some additional code to make that setting actually useful. So what we're going to do next is we're going to create a new asset. So we'll come here, uh, open up the assets, and add a new asset. We're going to create a blank file, make this a JavaScript file, and we're going to call this Mega Menu Hover. And we'll just copy and paste our code 
for this file and save. And then next, we're going to open up the file header mega menu.liquid. And then at the very bottom, we're just going to place our code to um, check to see if the hover option is selected. And if it is, then we're going to run this JavaScript file that we just created. Okay, so let's save. And now we're gonna do something very similar for the drop down menu. So we're gonna create a new asset again. We're gonna call this one header drop down hover. We'll copy and paste our code into here, save, and then open up the file header drop down menu. And again, at the very bottom, we're going to check to see if the hover setting is on. And if it is, we're going to run the JavaScript we just created. Okay, let's save. So now that's all the code changes we need to do. We can come back to our theme editor. Let's just refresh our page. And we can see here, if we hover over top, nothing happens, and we have to click in to reveal the mega menu. Now, if I check this box and hit save, and we refresh, if I hover over top, you can see here, now it's opening up the mega menu just through hover. If I move my mouse off, it closes. I move my mouse over top, it's gonna reveal it. Same thing with the drop down menu. If we leave this checked and save, we can refresh our page and we can show our drop down menus just by hovering. If we move our mouse off, you know, close after a short delay. And uh, we can even do this for nested menus, right? So if we just hover over top, the nested menu is going to show that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We've now added the hover effect to our menus. I enjoyed this one. I think it's a really nice user experience add-on for your store. But yeah, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, just add them to the comments below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.